emphasizing on mental calculations this mathematics vedic mathematics encourages mental calculation fostering a deeper understanding of numbers and their understanding relationships and this approach is aims to enhance the mental agility and computational efficiency applications in modern mathematics this vedic mathematics finds a suitable applications in modern fields such as computer science engineering and cryptography highlighting its relevances and enduring the values also now we will talk about the contributions of indian mathematicians like aryabhatta in the case of this aryabhatta we can have uh, always been the land of great mathematicians the value of pi is used in calculating the area and circumferences of a circle was first calculated by bauda and what is known as pythagoras theorem today already appeared in bauda solva sutra which was written many years before the age of pythagoras we all know that pythagoras a, a pioneer aryabhatta is a pioneer in the field of mathematics was the first device to decimal systems a number and a place value system writing the numbers the way we do in this modern days he wrote aryabhattiya in the 5th century discover of zero enabled aryabhatta to find out the exact distance between the earth and the moon also he contributed immensely in other areas of mathematics including trigonometry bija ganita algebra the topics of the modern by mathematics brahmagupta was the first mathematician to give the formula to the area of a cyclic quadrilateral in the 7th century his contributions to geometry are significant in his multiplication method he uses place values in almost the same way as it is used today he introduced to negative numbers and operations on zero into mathematics he wrote brahma pushpadhana through which the arabs came to know our mathematical systems bhaskaracharya is a prophetic mathematician and a hostronor known for his work in algebra calculus and the concepts of instantaneous motion now the decimal system and the place value concepts the decimal system with the 10 digits originated in india and this is a system based on powers of 10 allowed for efficient representation and manipulation of numbers the place value concept is also from indian development only it is from ancient india this innovative concept revolutionized the way numbers were understand and the way they are used so influence on modern mathematics the decimal system and the place value concepts developed in india have become fundamental components of modern mathematics used worldwide of modern for numerical calculations and representations just now we discussed about what is the contributions of ancient indian mathematicians like pythagoras theorem trigonometry applications in astronomy and agriculture numerical notations and calculations the brahmi numerals developed in ancient india served as the foundation for modern numerals these symbols provides a standardized system for representing the numbers abacus and other tools also which gives the easy calculations for nowadays and it gives importance where the people can have interest to develop mathematics so used various tools for calculations including the abacus these tools simplifies the calculations and contributed to the advancement of mathematical understanding and algorithms and techniques now at time this digital era every day the data is uh, generated uh, in bulk wave so until and unless the data can be analyzed and properly deployed to your model it is 99% of the data is waste unless and until we are getting some deployment of the model for that scenario the data analytics plays a very important tool reprocessing the data analyzing the data with using different types of machine learning algorithms wherein these algorithms and techniques 
uh, per performing the complex calculations and these methods often expressed through sutras facilitating the efficiency and accurate computations and astronomical calculations and calendars also observationally astronomy so indian astronomers made detailed observations of the celestial bodies leading to accurate calculations of planetary motions and eclipses the calendar system also developed by india which is a sophisticated calendar system including the solar and lunar calendars which plays a crucial role in the region uh, like religion practices and daily life cosmology and astrology there also our indian mathematicians contributions is a very significant they did the understanding of planetary movements was used to interpret the cosmic events and predicting the astrological influences on the human and mathematical models also contributions of indian mathematicians which is a significant they developed the models to predict the position of the planets and stars contributing to the development of astronomical theories so what not in every aspect if you want to take there is a significant contributions of the ancient indian mathematicians few applications related to here architecture astrology and medicine so in architecture mathematics plays a vital role the construction of the temple specifically if you want to observe the construction the architecture the uh, like 108 gopuras shikaras in uh, we can observe in all over india the sophisticated construction of the temples palaces and other structures influencing the design and proportion of these buildings with a perfect accurate values in the astrology also mathematical calculations were used to predict the astrological events influencing the various aspects of life from agricultural to personal well being in medicine the mathematics plays a vital role in the development of ayurvedic medicines involving precise measurements and formulation of herbal remedies now with all this uh, contributions of the mathematics my talk here includes the vedic mathematics in the case of here vedic mathematics it provides the answer in one line whereas conventional method which requires several steps it is an ancient technique which simplifies the multiplication divisibility complex numbers squaring cubing square and cube roots even recurring decimals and auxiliary functions can be handled by vedic mathematics so this vedic mathematics forms a part of jyotish shastra which is one of the six parts of vedangas the, the jyotish shastra or astronomy is made up of three parts called skandhas a skandha means the big branch of a tree shooting up the trunk so the vedic mathematics generally containing six sutras sorry 16 sutras which attributes a set of qualities to a number or a group of numbers the ancient hindu scientists of bharat in 16 sutras and 120 words lay down simple steps for solving all the mathematical problems in easy to follow two or three steps it is the one of the two line methods can be used effectively for solving divisions reciprocals factorization calculating the highest common factor squares what not everything we can do with the help of this vedic mathematics so pythagorean theorem also we can have the corresponding things since the vedic mathematics approaches encourages the flexibility the mathematics teachers encourages the students to devise her own method and not remain limited to the same rigid approach which is boring so here uh, we can have the sutras refer to 16 sutras mathematical formulas 
here what are all the sutras we have ekadikena purvena it is completely related in sanskrit ekadikena purvena means by one more than one before ekadikena one more than purvena before one before nishkalam navat sacharam dashat nishkalam navat sacharam dashat nishkalam navat nine all from nine and the last from ten charamam dashat dashataha nishkalam navata charam dashataha then radvitya yoga prana vertically and crosswise and paravatya yojaneya paravatya yojaneya transpose and apply shunyam samya samuchaye if the samuchaya is the same then it is zero prapniya shunyam prapniyat if one is ratio then other is zero shankalana vyavakalana abhyam shankalana vyavakalana abhyam by addition and by subtraction Purnataha Purna Abhyam by the completion or non completion. Chalana Kalana Abhyam differential calculus. Yavadunam by the deficiency. Yapti Samataha specific and general. Toshagena Charamena the reminder by the last digit. Sopana Dashamantyaha the ultimate and twice the pentilimate eka nyunena purvam by one less than the one before gunita samuchayaha from the product of the sum gunaka samuchayaha all the multipliers see these are the sutras which can be useful for the different types of calculations specifically related to arithmetic calculations the first one, what we have discussed here, ekadikena purvena. That means by one more than the previous one. So this is the sutra we can use for squaring of the numbers ending in 5. Initially, we can have 5, 5 is a 25, 25, 25 is a 625. Okay. But suppose if there are more number of values are there, 625 square, 45 square, 55 square. In that case, it is little difficulty for us to simplify. So using this simple sutra, we can find out the corresponding product with accuracy. Ekadikena purvena. The sutra is for squaring the numbers. For example, if you want to take a number which is ending with the 5, take the squaring of the number. Generally, in our conventional method, what we are doing, 65 into 65, suppose you are taking a simple multiplication. Here, general in conventional method, what we are doing in the units place, first to take the multiplication, what is the value in the units place, remaining goes to the 10th place, accordingly we are adding the sum. This is our conventional method. Whereas coming to here in Vedic mathematics, Suppose you are taking here uh, 65 into 65. Ekadikena purvena. Multiply the previous digit 6 by 1 more than. For example, if you are taking the multiply the previous digit 6 by 1 more than. So what happened here? 6 7 is 42. So 5 5 is 25. Ekadikena purvena 6. Previous digit is multiplied with 1. So 6 7 is 42. So we have 4225. That is the perfect sutra which can be given for squaring the number which is ending with 5. Squaring the number which is ending with 5. Ekadikena purvena. Units place you can take the multiplication as it is. Whereas coming to the 10th place, Ekadikena Purvena, 6 is there. You can multiply with two, uh, Adikam, 7. So 7, 6, 42. So the final answer should be 4,225. If you want to go by taking this conventional method also, the same value comes. Next we have... Yeah. Uh, Nikhilam Navatas Charamam Dashat. Nikhilam Navatas 
Charamam Dashat. This formula can be very effectively applied in multiplication of numbers which are nearing to bases like 10, 100, 1000, etc. So, Nikilam Navatas Charamam Dashat, all from 9 and the last from 10. So, what is the product here we are doing? So, application of the, like, uh, we can do the multiplication of numbers which are nearer to the base, like 99, nearer to the base 100, 900, like 899, it is nearer to the base 1000, 8, it is nearer to the base 10. Like that, we can apply this perfect sutra, we can get the corresponding multiplication. Suppose, we can take here di different types of cases, where the number is nearer to base like 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, etc. We can take both the numbers are lower than the base. See, 8 or 89 or 889, these are all closer to the base 10, 100, 1000, where we are observing these are less than the bases. Suppose you are taking 11 or you are taking the number something like uh, 1021 or you are taking the number which is 102 these are all nearer to the base 10 100 thousand respectively but these are more than the base we can take the values case one both the numbers are nearer to the base where they are lower than the base and uh, nearer to the base where they are higher than the base for example if you want to take the conventional method of 97 into 94. In the case of 97 into 94, this 97, what happened? This is nearer to the base 100. Even if 94 is also nearer to the base 100. In general conventional method, what we are doing here? Uh, 97 into 94, again you are taking that units place, then going to the corresponding tens place and taking the summation. Coming to in Vedic mathematics, 97 is lower than the base 100. How much it is lower? 3 it is lower. For 100, it is, is 3 lesser. For 94 also, this is nearer to the base 100 and it is lower than the base with the number difference is 6. So you can write 97 into 94, write the values of units place, which one is lesser than that 100 from the first number 3. From the second number, it is 6. You can take the product of these two. And correspondingly, you can multiply the value we can get in the conventional method the same way we can get in this Vedic method also. Now coming to both the numbers are higher than the base. I told now previously 97, 94, or 93, these are all nearer to the base 100. How much the difference you are writing in the units place? And accordingly, we are multiplying. Whereas coming to the second case also, Navatas Nikilam Dashataha, here we can take, uh, take a value nearer to the base, which is higher than the base. For example, take in the conventional method, 103 into 105. 103 is nearer to the base 100. Similarly, 105 is also nearer to the base 100. But in general conventional method, what we are doing? Same units place multiplication, then 10th place. And accordingly, are taking all the product and simplifying the value. Whereas in coming to our Vedic mathematics, 103 into 105, 103 is nearer to the base 100. And it is higher than the base of difference 3. Similarly, Coming to 105, this is also nearer to the base 100 and which is higher than the difference of 5. Now you can take, they are in the units place 103, higher than the nearer base place 3, 105, higher than nearer the base place 5. So take the product of these two, 3, 5 is a 15. Then you can add what is the value in the units place and write down the remaining digits as it is. So instead of in our conventional method, this will become very easy using the direct sutra. 
navatas charamam dashat nikilam so that is the formula very efficiently applied in multiplication of the numbers which are nearer to the base like 10 100 1000 10000 etc like powers of 10 and we are taking two cases here that are nearer to the base which is lower than the base number as well as higher than the base number in lower than the base number also what is the difference nearer to the base lower you are calculating whereas in higher than the base also what is the nearer value to the base which is higher than taking the corresponding differences and multiplying the values and adding the corresponding unit digits and writing the remaining as it is which gives the perfect product instead of taking the value in the conventional method this is the second sutra nikilam navatas charamam dashat now coming to the same sutra third case is there when one number see first case what we did both the numbers are nearer to the base and both are lesser than the base second case both the numbers are nearer to the base and both are higher than the base but sometimes one number is more than the base and one number is higher than the base also we can have this combination of the product see previously something like 90s product second case is 100 above product in third case one number is lesser than the base and one number is more than the base for example you can take a number 103 into 98 generally how we are taking here 103 into 98 means you can take that units place product 24 and simplifying all the summation whereas coming to vedic mathematics you should concentrate here in two cases there is no negative direction of which one is lesser which one is more like both are nearer to the base how much difference we are writing in the units place taking the product taking the summation in the units place and remaining we are writing as it is whether both the numbers are lower than the base both the numbers are higher than the base we didn't get any difference while taking the sutra as it is while coming to the third case if one number is more say 103 that is also nearer to the base but how much nearer to the base three is the more value so 103 is higher than the base near 100 how much higher three so we are writing as it is three in the units place now coming to the second number 98 this is also nearer to the base but uh, lesser than the base how much lesser than the base two is lesser therefore you have to write here minus two then accordingly simplify the value what is the formula here we can write nikilam navatas charamam dashat now you can write the corresponding higher than the base you are writing as it is the number lower than the base how much lower two lower but we are writing in minus two now accordingly you simplify the corresponding calculation whatever the number we got in the conventional method we will get the same with the help of this Vedic Sutra. Now coming to here, Anurupyena. Anurupyena is another Sutra, which is the meaning of proportionality or similarly. That is the name Anurupyena. Anurupyena means what? Propor similarity, Anurupyena, proportionality or similarity. And this is the Sutra highly useful to find product of two numbers when both of them nearer to the common base previously what we observed both the numbers are nearer to the base of 10 100 thousand etc but here in this case we have the numbers nearer to the common base like 50 60 200 something like suppose we are writing 47 into 54 then 47 is nearer to the base of 50 and suppose 97 is there or 94 is there 94 is nearer to the base 100 like that you want to take another sutra similarities between the numbers for the numbers which one is 
nearer to the base whether it is higher than the nearer base or lower than the nearer base we can apply in the sutra anurupyena so here we can write uh, the common basis like 50 60 70 80 etc and we can simplify the product for example here we can see uh, anurupyena we can take the conventional method of taking two numbers like 46 into 43 here 46 into 43 generally in conventional method what we are doing same thing like unit split this is not uh, required for us so this is general multiplication whereas coming to the vedic mathematics 46 is nearer to the base 50 similarly 43 is also nearer to the base 50 whereas nearer to the base 50 but it is lesser no not 53 or 55 so 46 is nearer to the base 50 which is lesser value of 4 that is why we wrote here minus 4. Coming to 43, which is also nearer to the base 50, how much lesser value here? 7. So we are writing here minus 7. Now you can simplify the value correspondingly. Well, 4, 7. Then you simplify. What is the simplification here? 4, 6, 3 is 18. And you can simplify 4 and 7. What is the value? You can get the product as 1978 applying this probe method you can write the corresponding product now coming to urdhva tiryagyam urdhva tiryagyam urdhva tiryagyam vertically and crosswise urdhva upar tiryagyam cross so the sutra generally formulates the all cases of multiplication also in the division of a large number by another large number so here you can take two digit multiplication by urdhva tiryagbhyam three digit multiplication by same urdhva tiryagbhyam suppose in the case of urdhva tiryagbhyam you can have for two digit multiplication you want to take here Urdhva Tiryagbhyam, vertically as well as crosswise also you can take vertically, then we can go for crosswise. Suppose we can have here, see, what is the step one we need to write in that? Uh, for example, you can write write zero and carry. Step two, you can take uh, the simplification. These are the generalized convention method you are writing in our generalized product. Whereas coming to in this Vedic mathematics, Urdhva Tiryagyam, vertically take the product, then suppose B, C, E, F, these are the numbers, like 46 into 43. First, you can take the vertical product, 6, 3 is 18. Then you can go for crosswise, 4, 3 is 12, plus 6, 4 is 24. Now, you can take the value. Then you can go for 4, 4, the 16. So take all the corresponding product summation. You can get the value as 1978. First, you can take the step one of vertical product. Then go for the cross product. Then go for again the vertical. Suppose we have the multiplication of three digit number to the three digit number. Then you can take vertical multiplication, then crosswise multiplication. Again, go for vertical multiplication. We will get the respect to number product. Suppose we have BCEF are the numbers. First, we can take the vertical multiplication of C into F, then crosswise B into F plus C into E. Then again take the vertical multiplication B into E. Similarly, if it is the case, see previously we have only two digit multiplication by Urdhva Tiryagbhyam, whereas in three digit multiplication, in Vedic mathematics, how to do here? First, to take the vertical product. What is that? C into F like 15. Then you can go for cross product simplification like 5 into 0 plus 0 into 3 it should be like, like what happened here 5 into 0 
then 0 into 3, which should be 0 only. So no need to consider. Then we can go for uh, 100s plus cross product, 1 into 5 plus 1 into 3 plus 0 into 0. So 1 into 5, 5 plus 1 into 3, 3, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 0 into 0, 0. So we can write 8 in the hundreds place. Then go for again the remaining two digit crosswise, 0 into 1 plus 1 into 0. So what happened that that value again it is 0. Then you can go for final vertical product. It should be 1. So 1,815. Can anybody give me the answer of a number something like 109 into 108? Can anybody using the same three digit word with the Riyagyam? 108 into 109. Then you can take first vertical cross product. Then take the vertical product. Then take the cross of these two. First one say these are A, B, C. Then these are D, E, F. First to take the vertical product in units place. Then units and tens crosswise. Like B into F plus C into E. Then go for all the three crosswise. Like uh, A into F, D into C, B into E. Take the summation. Then go for remaining U 10th place and 100th place crosswise. So vertical, cross, cross, vertical. Then what happened? This is 0. Again, finally, you can go for vertical. So first we can have vertical product, 3, 5 is a 15. Then you can go for cross, 0 into 5 plus 0 into 3. So 0. So don't consider the value. Then go for all the three cross, 1 into 5 plus 1 into 3 plus 0 into 0. So that is nothing but 8. Then go for these cross, 1 into 0 plus 1 into 0, 0. Then again vertical, 1 into 1, so 10,815. So we can apply this for three digit multiplication, four digit, two digits also with the simple sutra of Urdhva Tiryagyam, Urdhva vertical, Tiryagyam crosswise. So you can take vertical product, cross product according to the number of digits exists in the given. If it is the case of two digit number product A, B, C, D, then you can take vertical, then take the cross. If it is the case of three digit number A, B, C, D, E, F, then first to take vertical, then go for the cross, then go for the cross, then go for the vertical. Take all the summation, right? Accordingly, we can get the corresponding product of the numbers using this sutra which is known as Urdhva Tiryagyam. So like that we have many sutras are there. See here I told these are all the sutras. Ekadikena Purvena we completed. Nishkalam Navata Charmam Dashat we completed. So here we have Yadvit Yogamya. Paravatya Yojaya, Shunyam Samaya Sumachaye, Shunya Rupaya, Shunyam Shunya, Shankalana Vivakalanabyam, Purna Purana Mabyam, Chalana Kalanabyam, Yavadunam, Yapti Samishtaha, Shoshodyana Charamena, Sopana Tadmantya, Eka Nyunena Purvat, Gunita Samuchayaha, Gunaka Samuchayaha. So these are all the sutras we can continuously calculate using first sutra what are all the applications related so using the first sutra of ekadikena purvena you can multiply the numbers uh, like taking the squaring of the numbers which is ending with five and second one is we have nishkalam uh, navatas charamam dashat in that case we can have three different cases of the number which is nearer to the base where it is lesser than the base higher than the base, one number is lower and one number is higher. Like that, every sutra is having its own strategy of correspondingly calculating what is the re remaining simplification. Like that, we have different types of sutras. Within the one hour or 40 minutes, it's highly difficult for me to complete all the sutras. If we have this 
session like morning three hours or evening three hours, then there may be a chance of you can complete at least half of the sutras. So why I am insisting here using the sutras? Because in nowadays schools also, they are not much aware about our contributions of our ancient Indian mathematicians. We, the teachers' fraternity, has the responsibility to inculcate such a type of habits, like slowly we are making them to pay attention what is the contribution of, of our famous Indian mathematicians and what are the sutras in Vedic mathematics, how easy they can calculate because generally we are observing the students like school children, they are little bit uh, aware or afraid about the mathematics but even they are coming to college level or in a professional time also they are little bit afraid of mathematics it's like difficulty so why they are having such a type of afraidness as a teacher fraternity that is our responsibility such a way that we will ask them like slowly we are making them to contributions or importance of faith in mathematics using the shulabha sutras how you want to take the product of numbers how we are taking the uh, which has the number nearer to the basis like 10, 20, 30, 50, something like that. And uh, what is the main significance of calculus? Because in now a digital era where the engineering streams are completely depends on that calculus part only. If you are making them slowly, making them to interest about the calculations of using this type of sutras, which may comfortable to their future aspects also. So in ancient India had a profound impact on the world from the development of the decimal system to the advanced trigonometry. So it is having enriched global mathematical understanding and this legacy will continue to inspire and inform the modern mathematics, reflecting and during the significance of Indian contributions. With this, I am winding my session. Thank you for your attention. Let me know, is there any doubt? I am not completing all the 16 sutras, just I touched the two sutras, how using the sutra, making the simplification easily. Like that for every sutra, it is having that own strategy to calculate the respective aspects of the content. Let me know, is there any doubt?